Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich, is a puppet horror movie. The movie is about this guy who is getting a divorce. He's a comic book creator, runs a comic book store. He ends up having to move back home with his parents because of this divorce. And when he gets there, he goes through his brother's room. Something happens to the brother. Obviously, he dies or something. And as he's going through some of his brother's old stuff, he comes upon this doll. And basically, because he needs money and all this stuff because of the divorce, the parents are like, well, if you want to get rid of some of your brother's stuff, you can. So he ends up looking up about this doll and he finds out that there's this auction that he can go to where everybody's bringing these dolls because they're created by this nazi dude and yeah you can auction them off for money so fast forward and we're at the auction and everything is going good until people just start realizing when they go back to their rooms because it's like a little hotel place that all the dolls are missing and yeah this movie just turns up from there where just the dolls come to life in a sense as they're being controlled by this dead nazi dude and yeah they just start killing everybody at this hotel that was there for the auction and it's kind of like they're kind of discriminating (laughs) Because they're going after, like, the Jews and, like, the gays and all this stuff. So they're definitely, like, going out of their way to, like, specifically kill people. Until just everybody tries to escape and then it's like, screw it, it's full on just murder time. And the people have to fight back, they have to figure out what the hell's happening because it's killer dolls and they're like, what the hell? And yeah, they kind of put two and two together and realize that they're evil Nazi dolls and they got to take out the dead dude that's in the uh, cemetery-like place. And yep, tons of murder and death and it's pretty good, honestly. And it has the uh, captain from Reno 911 in it, so that's always fun. Yeah, so... (laughs) My review to uh, Puppet Master The Littlest Reich. And surprisingly enough, this movie actually blew my expectations on a couple of things. And it was definitely like the blood and gore and the practical effects. Wasn't really expecting a lot when I went into this movie. I had just seen it on a, a, a trailer and I owned it, and I was like, man, let's watch this. I've actually never seen any of the other Puppet Masters. I think I own one and two and three, and that is it. I looked up the timeline on what you're supposed to watch. Very confusing. Have to get back into that. But nonetheless, we skipped right into this one. And uh, yeah, I was not disappointed. The practical effects and the gore and blood was pretty extreme. Honestly, it looked really good. There was like some silly parts where it's like, oh, they definitely replaced like this person with like this dummy or something and their head blow off. But like, uh, there's a couple other things that looked like really, really good. And there's the one, uh, the woman laying on the bed and she's pregnant. And one of the puppets goes up her vagina into her belly and rips the belly open from the inside out and just takes the baby and like carries it out of her wound uh yeah that was pretty insane there was some other pretty crazy parts but that was like the most like what the fuck um honestly this movie would have been a lot better if they got better actors i thought the acting was kind of like whack also there was the one part where the uh the best friend or the boss or whatever the jewish guy dies in the end and that was like horribly done for some weird reason i don't know if that was on purpose or not but yeah that sucked the acting just wasn't good coming out of that dude honestly they probably should have just not had that dude in the movie because honestly i would have rate this movie a lot higher which i'll talk about in my recommendation later here in a sec 
but because the acting was kind of like mid, eh. Also, the ending of this movie was just like not that good. It's pretty bad. It really made no sense. Um, Because it's like they go to kill the undead dude and they kind of just lollygag and just kind of let that guy kill the girl. Like, they don't run from him or nothing. They just let him slow walk to them and, like, attack them. It's just silly writing because it's supposed to be a comedy, too. But nonetheless, there was really good things about the movie and then kind of bad things about it. So, yeah. Main takeaway, though, this movie was definitely carried by its practical effects and blood. So, my recommendation for Puppet Master and... Like I was saying, I would actually have highly recommend this if just the acting and the writing was a tad bit better. Unfortunately, I'm just going to recommend it. It's definitely a movie I would recommend solely off that baby scene. Yeah, pretty good though. Pretty good movie.